Good morning. What's going on, fellas? We're going to try to video this job. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. It's a Linux system. Uh, about a month ago, a little, just a hair over a month ago, we replaced a warranty evaporator coil that was leaking. And, uh, and TXV. She called yesterday and said the unit had been working great ever since we uh, ever since we changed the coil. But now it was not working. It, it was very hot in the house. So I got out there and found a restricted TXV. It was frozen up right at the TXV. A big old ball of ice right at the TXV. So I'm going to go to Goodman here and get a piston because uh, I'm just not going to put another TXV back in. I mean, you know, we've had too much, uh, you know, with the TXV issues that we all know about, and I just don't want to take another chance. So, and uh, Linux holds the Dan Foss TXV uh, pistons just like Goodman and um, ADP and everybody else. They hold those pistons, so. I'm pulling up at Goodman right now to go get me a piston, and we will see y'all when we get on the job site. All right, guys, I got the unit pumped down. I am going to grab my piston and head off. Look, Ralph, a crawl space. Head out into the crawl space, remove the TXV. All right, guys, I'm down in the crawl. That's weird for me to say. There, it's not far, though. There's the door. You can see one of the condensers. So it's not a bad crawl. Plenty of room under here. And look, Ralph, we even got a 90% furnace. Let's see if I can get some light on it. Linux, 90% furnace. We don't see a lot of 90% furnaces here. All right, well, there it is. Everything's on the outside. I am going to remove that and install the piston, which I have right here. All right, I'm gonna get after it. All right, guys, and just like that, the TXV has been removed. There it is. Piston has been installed. Now all I gotta do is go find a Schrader in my truck and stick a Schrader core in here and put a cap on it. So that's what I'm gonna go do right now. All right guys, I'm vacuuming the system now. Um, we got the, well as you saw, we got the piston and everything in. I got delayed, I had to run to the shop and grab one of these cheater cords here. Uh, I guess I, I, I left mine at home. I can't find the one that I usually use. I had made my own, but they we have these at the shop, so they gave me one to keep on my truck. Cause I could I got an extension cord, but I can't find a plug in nowhere close. I don't have enough extension cord to run to the closest plug in. I got a 50 foot cord, but it's well over. The closest plug is well over 50 foot away. So we're in a vacuum now, and then after that we'll release the charge and start the unit up. All right, guys, we have our unit back running. That looks much better than what we had yesterday, for sure. Working much, much better with a piston. Yesterday, our suction pressure was like 60, and you know, it was all frozen with the valve, so we look a lot better. Yep, that looks good. All right, guys, that'll do it for this one. Short video, nothing special, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all on the next one.